In this video, we're gonna go through three mistakes that defensemen make in the defensive zone in front of their own net. So I'm gonna walk you through these three mistakes and then what you should be doing instead. All right, the first one, when you're in front of your own net, the puck's down in the corner, all right? You have a forward down there with the puck and you have another defenseman or defensive forward in the corner playing that. So now you're in charge of the net. What I see a lot of defensemen do is they just set up shop right here, no matter what's going on around them and they think they're in the right position. That's wrong. Where's the other forward that you need to be responsible for? Is it over here? Are they over there? Are they over here? You need to put yourself in a position where you're moving a little bit closer to that forward if they're not standing right in front of the net, but you're also in a position to still play this forward if they come out of that corner and beat the defenseman in the corner. All right, so ideally, for example, if the forward's right here, you're not just gonna stand in front of the net because if they get a pass right here, you're not gonna get to them in time, right? So you have to move in a little bit, okay? Be a couple stick lengths away. So now if you can see if that pass is coming, you have a shorter distance here to be able to attack. However, if the forward's, let's say, way up here in the high slot, you don't wanna just go stand right next to them and cover them and say, I'm covering my, my guy because if, if this defenseman gets beat, this forward's gonna be able to take the puck to the net clean and this forward is going to be able to beat you to the front of the net now if there's a shot or a play to that net. So you need to be in between here, but you don't want to just be standing in front of the net. You need to move out a little bit. So understanding your positioning there and being able to move and take away some time and space from, those, from that open forward, but still be in a good defensive position if your defenseman gets beat to be able to play that two on one out of the corner is very important. A second huge mistake that I see defensemen making in the zone here when they're in front of the net when you're this defenseman in front of the net is that their feet are pointed in the wrong direction. Your feet are so important. The direction that your, your feet are pointing is so important. I'll tell you why here for a second, right? So one thing that will happen if you're this defenseman is that your feet are just pointed and you're looking right down here at the puck. Obviously the problem with that is that you're not able to see what's going on behind you if you're staring at the puck. So your feet are pointed this direction. Another, another mistake is that your feet are actually, if you have a forward right here, your feet are actually pointed directly at that forward and you're looking at this forward. What's wrong with that? Well, you're not able to see behind you this way. So if this forward beats your defenseman and goes to the net, you're sitting there stuck on your player. You're not able to see what's going on behind you. You wanna be aware of the puck and your player. So you wanna always have your feet in a position where you can see your player and also see the puck. So where is that perfect position? Well, it's gonna be, if, if, if this is your forward right here, all right, and you draw a straight line down, Right, you're gonna to have to be a little bit behind this line on the defensive side of this line. So now you're, you can see in front of you, they're in front of you a little bit. So you wanna be just a little bit behind that line, all right? And you wanna have your feet pointed this direction. So now you can see this way and you can see this way. Also, by moving behind that line a little bit, you're taking away the angle for this forward to skate. If they wanna skate to the net, they have to get right through you. So if you're on this line and you're directly even with them, if they want to skate to the net, they're going to be able to go behind you. You don't want that. You want to be in the, in the lane there between them and the net as well. So that's that perfect position for you right there because now your feet are pointed this way. You can see over here. You can see over here. You can see what's going on. You can see this whole side of the ice. And then obviously you should be taking quick glances here. You should be taking quick glances behind you and always being aware of what's going on by looking. Your eyes and your head should be moving. You should see what's going on. Your knees should be bent. And you should feel that sense of intensity and urgency even when you're just the defenseman covering in front of the net. You need to be aware, you need to be ready to jump, you need to be ready to pounce if any of these players get passes, if there's a loose puck, if, this, if your defenseman gets beat in the corner, you need to be ready. So just having that sense of urgency, having your knees bent, being ready, being in that good position, and then also making sure that you can see what's going on by having your feet in the right way, going pointed the right way. The last mistake I see defensemen make, and I see this happen all the time, and it kind of goes along with the other two points we just talked about. But what happens is the defenseman in front is covering their player. Typically their feet aren't gonna be pointed the right way, so they have, a tr they have trouble seeing what's going on. They're looking at their player, or they're looking behind, and they can't have a full awareness of the rank. They don't have a full, full awareness of the defensive zone. But this defenseman gets beat, right? So this forward beats that defenseman out of the corner. What does this defenseman do? What would you do in that situation, right? You have your guy in front, 
this, this defenseman gets beat out of the corner, what are you gonna do in that situation? Well, I'll tell you what a lot of defensemen do, is they cover their player. And then this forward kind of goes in here on the little mini breakaway and they cover their player and they're like, my player isn't gonna get that pass. My player isn't gonna touch the puck and score. And this player scores. That's your mistake. That's your fault. You need to be in a position to play a two on one here and pressure this forward. So what do you do in that situation? One, when this forward's coming out of the corner, you wanna hold your position here, all right? Don't be right on top of this forward and give him all this space, but you wanna be, be off a little bit, hold your position, have an active stick, so take away the passing lane with an active stick, and then if this forward, one, they're gonna to try to force the pass a lot of times, and you're in a good position, just deflect the pass, boom, you're done. All right, but then if you read that this forward is gonna take the puck to the net, now you have to step down and attack. All right, whether you're gonna slide right here at the last second, whether you're gonna step down and go in, stick on puck to deflect passes and shots, all right, but you have to pressure here. You can't just let them skate. You want them to shoot from a bad angle. Ideally, they, they, they read that you're covered here, they read you're in a good position, they shoot from a bad angle, boom, easy save for your goalie, right? But what you don't want to do is just take your player, wherever your player is, if your player's over here, just moving your player and taking him off the D zone there and just letting this player come in wide open and score in front, right? That's a horrible play. It's not that it's not your guy that didn't score, because then what happens is the defensive goes, it wasn't my guy, it wasn't my player. Yeah, it was your player. Your job is to stop the other team from scoring in the defensive zone. Do you think the best players in the NHL NHL, say, oh, it wasn't my player. No, when they're on the ice, their job is to keep the puck out of their own net. So your job is to be in a good position to support your other defenseman if your other defenseman gets beat out of the corner and you have to play a two on one here. That's your job. Your job is to take your player and also support the other player because nobody's perfect. People are gonna get beat once in a while. So don't just focus on your player. Your job is to keep the puck out of the net. So you need to know how to put yourself in a position if somebody gets beat out of the corner and you're the defenseman in front of the net, play that two on one and then know when to attack that puck carrier if they're gonna be uh, going in front of the net so that you can pressure them, so that you can pressure the puck, you can take them out of the play and you can force them to make a bad decision. Defensemen, if you haven't gone and downloaded our free defenseman checklist yet, it's 247hockey.com slash D. There's gonna be a list of things on there that are gonna be great for defense and to be able to access and just help you improve your game. It's a full checklist, how you can be an elite defenseman. It gives you a lot of tips and tactics that you can go download. So if you haven't gone there yet, go to 247hockey.com slash D for defensemen. There'll be a link in the description below. You can just go down into the description of this video, click on the link, or in the first comment, I'll have a link for you. I'll pin a comment at the top of the link as well. But it's 247hockey.com slash D. You can also just type it into your browser and you can go download that free elite defenseman checklist. What does it take to be an elite defenseman? Now, if you're not subscribed yet, get subscribed to our YouTube channel. We're releasing new videos all the time. Turn on the notifications after you subscribe so you get notified every time we release a new video. Love to have you as a subscriber. And also, leave me a comment below. Let me know, what do you wanna work on in the D zone? What, what video should I make next? Do you like these whiteboard videos? Should I do more of these whiteboard videos? Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this video and let me know what what videos you'd like to see next. All right, it's Zach with 24-7 Hockey. I'll see you in the next video.